Hi, welcome to Knits Up. I'm Mindy, your hostess, otherwise known as Knitter CNY. You can find me on Ravelry and Instagram as Knitter CNY. And you can find the face, there's a Facebook page that I have, and there's also a Ravelry group, which isn't too active at the moment. I thought I would record today. I skipped last week. Um, so welcome if you're a new person watching this and wondering who I am, where I am, all of that stuff. Um, my name is Mindy. I go by Knitter CNY on Ravelry and Instagram because I'm from central New York, the Syracuse area. I've been knitting and crocheting for over 30 years and I do a little bit of both. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on, uh, what I will be continuing to work on. And just to let you know, one of the things that I started doing was calling it socket to January. So you're going to see some socks. Um, you're going to see some other stuff too, but you're going to see some socks. So I finished up, except for the heels, a couple of socks that I've been working on. I made toe up tubes and this is Peyton's Croy Rusty Stripes and I used a 2.25 millimeter needle on the toe and I used 2.5 double points for the rest of it. You can see the back right now I've got those 2.25 millimeters in their holding stitches and at some point, not today, um, but at some point I will cut into this sock and try and make a heel for it. Actually, maybe today, uh, depends on how I feel. And we'll make a heel for each sock. Um, I'm gonna use the, I think they call it the half handkerchief heel by Laura Neal that's on Craftsy in the sock architecture class. Um, I really liked it for a set of socks I made out of Knit Picks Felici in the Abracadabra colorway. And it came out really nice. Um, so, and they're really comfortable to wear. So I'm gonna try that heel again. Uh, the other sock that I've been working on, pardon me as I move something, is out of Barocco socks that I uh, scored in a Facebook marketplace deal um, around Halloween. So they were, it was a Halloween colorway to me, but it looks like a neat colorway anyways. And what I'm using is Addy squared, extra long, flexible double point needles. Um, they call them crazy trio, I think is what, you know, they used to call them the European version. But I bought these, I think off of Amazon to believe it or not. And these are 2.5 millimeters. And they're really nice to work with. Um, they're really comfortable in my hands. They're a little bit long, but that's okay because I can get one on each side of a 64 stitch sock. And you can see how that's coming, that pattern is coming out. Really nice, really easy to work with. And then the big thing that I've been working on, and it's big only because I'm making it for me, um, and it's using chunky yarn, is this which is a raglan, a top-down raglan sweater. And that is from the Lion Brand website. And it's using yarn that I had left over in my stash. And I'm using four different colors of yarn that I had left over in my stash that is Woolies Chunky, which is a discontinued five-weight yarn. And I had seven balls of that to make stuff with. I had one of cream, two of, um, 
Actually, I might have more than that. No, I only have seven balls. I have one of cream, two of light gray. Um, I have two of black, and then I have two and a little bit of denim colored. So my plan is, which I had to do, was to supplement. This is Lion Brand Hue and Me. That's the two of wands. Um, and this is Shadow Ombre. It's sort of a brownish color, but it'll work with this. Um, this is kind of a mixed, a cardigan of many colors. The sleeves are going to be the denim color, and the bottom of this is going to be black. And I'm using a size 10 and a half needle. Um, I think that's a 6.5 millimeter, maybe. No. It's got to be more than that, but it's a 10 and a half in any case. And this is a free pattern off of Lion Brand's website. I've made a sweater out of it before, and it came out really nice. And then the only other thing that I've done this week that definitely needs some kind of blocking or steaming or something, I don't know what, was I used, I have a Singer HK Hobby Knitter 100, um, which I'm probably going to sell because I can't see keeping it for any reason. I don't make sweaters on stuff like that. Um, it's just too, it's, it makes a nice strip of, of stockinette, but other than that, I can't find much use for it. Um, so I think I'm going to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. It was one of those impulse purchases. And so I took a skein of Bernat Baby Softy Stripes and just made a little piece of stocking out with it that's got to be just steamed out. And it'll make a really cute scarf. Um, I may even let it roll. Um, and then I'm going to just put pom-poms on the bottom of it, I think. Or I may just leave it like it is and call it good and give it to charity. Um, the yarn comes out really nice. The yarn is really, really soft. But I'm probably going to make a hat with it doubled. Um, I'll probably make a couple hats with it doubled because it's such a fine yarn. It's a number three yarn. And I just wanted to use it up to get it out of my stash. And this was sort of a practice run with the uh, knitting machine. So I wanted to see how that turned out. So that's what I'm working on. And that'll keep me busy for a little while. And I'd love to see what you guys are working on. If you wanna post um, anything, feel free to uh, direct me to Instagram or, you know, follow me on Instagram. If you haven't already and you like what you see in this podcast, then subscribe below and you can hit the notification bell and that'll let you know whenever I post. So that's all I've got this week and go craft something. It's good for your mental health.